Jonathan Tavernari, or JT as his teammates and fans call him, was a highly recruited player coming out of high school, and BYU was lucky to land him. It's been an up-down, interesting, and productive path and career for the Brazilian native. Born in São Paulo, Brazil on June 18, 1987, senior combo guard Jonathan Tavernari is one of the most eccentric personalities in BYU athletics. He's had a successful tenure at BYU thus far, being a part of three conference championship teams, winning Mountain West Freshman of the Year, and setting the single-season BYU three-point record. Choosing BYU for JT, though, was an easy choice. I didn't want to even visit anybody any place else because I knew it, you know, that you know, this was a place for me. So, um, and then of course the coaching staff. I knew Coach Rose was kind of rebuilding the program, and it was just one of those things that, um, you know, I had a chance to be a part of something special, and you know, it has been something special, you know, putting three banners up and about to put our fourth in about you know, three or four weeks or so, so it's been, it's been something really special. Being Brazilian, Tavernari played his fair share of soccer growing up, but was forced to play goalie because of his height, a position he, quote, hated because he was clumsy. After giving up soccer, he took up judo fighting but didn't like getting hit. Finally, Jonathan had to make a decision between his other two favorite sports. You know, I was pretty good at handball, you know, team handball. You know, I was I was I was pretty good there. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a good basketball player, but I was a natural at handball. But you know, there's not a lot of future with that, so I just decided to play basketball. When one thinks big names from a sports standpoint in Brazil, they think guys like Pele, Ronaldo, or Ronaldinho. But the game of basketball, Tavernari says, is gaining popularity. Sure, it's definitely not soccer, and um, but it's growing. It's 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 come to a, it's come to a sense that. It's probably tied for the second or third most popular sport there, and um, you know, with you know, with the national team doing well, and you know, some of the guys like the NBA guys and guys in Europe, and with us here at BYU doing well, and I'm, I'm being Brazilian, you know, it's kind of giving a little boost. In 2008, Tavernari was selected to the Brazilian national team. He was and is the only non-professional on the team. This past summer, JT played on the team that won the gold medal at the FIBA Americas Championships. The most exciting thing about that is that I got to be a part of it for another, you know, not 13, 14 years. I mean, I'm only 22, so um, I definitely playing to about 35, 36 with them because, you know, it was the greatest honor of an athlete can have. And, you know, having the Olympic, Olympics there in 2016 is a huge, huge blessing. His experience with the national team has been a tremendous blessing not only for JT, but also for his teammates. Just having a lot more patience. Um, I mean, he's always, you know, shot the ball well, and he's always, you know, had confidence in shooting. But this year, I thought, you know, he's done a great job in his shot selection overall, not uh, forcing it upon himself, just letting it come to him. When you when you create a, a bond with, with your teammates and you're able to put the team in first place, and you don't care who takes the credit, you know, it's you know, it's you get successful stories like you know, like the threes we have so past, you know, so far. As for now, Tavernari hopes to continue to be a leader on this BYU team, help them go deep in the NCAA tournament, and enter his name in the 2010 NBA draft. Michael Bodmer, True Blue. Thanks, Michael. He's obviously had quite a successful career here at BYU. As you said, he's on the Brazilian national team. So it was surprising to many to see Coach Rose move him to the bench. In talking to Coach Rose, what were his reasons? Well, surprising enough, Tony, it actually wasn't entirely Coach Rose's decision. In fact, Jonathan Tavernari came to Coach Rose after BYU lost to Utah State, a game in which Tavernari went 1 from 11 from the field. He came to Coach Rose and said, you know what, something feels off with the chemistry, and I think Noah Hartsock is playing better and should start instead of me. And so what happened is Coach Rose did that. He put Noah Hartsock into the starting lineup, Tavernari to the bench, and since then BYU has been playing great. They ran off a 15-game winning streak, and they're right in the thick of the Mountain West race. So yeah, It's really working for them. Thanks, yeah. Michael.